to another video with your girl in today's video we're going to be getting into a styling video but but not just any kind of styling video the Dollar Tree styling video so every single product I'm gonna be using on my hair today will be from the Dollar Tree not Dollar General not Dollar Store okay Dollar Tree where everything is one Dollar. So y'all already know I am so excited about this video because I have done my Dollar Tree wash day where I went from washing to styling with products only from the Dollar Tree. So your girl went back and got some more goodies, okay? So before we go ahead and get into the details of today's video, if you are new to your girl's channel, if this is your first time clicking on the Curly Chris channel, I'm gonna need for you to do one thing for your girl, okay? And that is to smash that button down below smash that button down below hey like you mean it and join the curly crisp fam we would love to have you here as y'all can see my hair is dripping crazy okay crazy okay so let's hurry up and get into which products we're going to be using and which what all goodies i picked up from the store so y'all already know the leave-in conditioner that i have to use is the this one right here, okay, the one I used in my last video because y'all, this leave-in conditioner, you guys sold it out. At least in Austin, y'all did. Y'all sold out this leave-in. I could not find it anywhere in Texas and I had people sending it to me from the channel because I asked for it. So shout out to y'all who did send me some more of these. So this is the leave-in I'm going to be using. So let me actually go ahead and apply it to my hair because I, I know y'all, I know, I know. Sis forgot the leave-in conditioner outside of the shower. So I did not already apply it to my hair. Y'all know I apply my leave-in conditioners in the shower, period, no other way to do it. So I'm gonna go and apply the leave-in conditioner to all of the sections really quick. And just in case you are new here and you're like, why apply the leave-in conditioner prior? It really helps maximize the moisture and lock in the moisture. If you have not tried it, apply your leave-in conditioners in the shower with warm water and Chef's kiss to that moisture, okay? So let's move on to the styling products that I picked up. So the only kind of cream that they had was this Garnier Fructis Natural Look Liquid Cream. And it says it's a low hold, easy application, no residue. Now, honestly, I'm not too excited about this product, mainly because Garnier Fructis is not really made for us if you know what i'm saying so i kind of feel like it's going to give me like it's not really going to give me what i need if it says low hold on here then this is typically for like looser textures i can only imagine what kind of hold it's going to give me on my hair right i then was like okay i don't see any more creams we have to go with a gel we have to so today we're going to be doing a wash and go so the gels that they had was the softy styling gel or the LA Looks Extreme Sport Gel. So, looking at both of these, honestly, this reminds me of Eco Styler, and this reminds me of Wetline Extreme. So, like, you can literally see, like, this one has that blue tint texture thingy, like Wetline, and this really looks like Eco Styler. So, just off the back, I'm gonna pick this Wetline Gel to, well, Wetline to style with. Um, and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna layer the products. So I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner, then the liquid cream, and then the, ouch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. Y'all, I literally just now stabbed myself. You can see where I stabbed. Oh my gosh, it's bleeding. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, can y'all see? Yeah, I think you guys can see where it's bleeding. I deserve a like. I deserve a like. Like this video right now. Like it right now. I'm over here hurting myself. I deserve a like, okay? You know what? And a comment. Comment! Something. Anything. 
I cannot believe that. Yeah, now it's gonna look like I got the little, a little red marker on my face. Whenever y'all see it, just go ahead and leave another comment. All right, now are we going to be using an oil? That's kind of what I'm not too certain about at the moment, okay? Um, we're gonna see how it goes and flows though. I also picked up this mousse, a hair mousse, and I also picked up an edge control. So we're gonna most definitely use this edge control, this mousse, probably not, okay? So based on what I plan on using, I spent a total of one, two, three, four dollars for this entire wash day. Okay, okay, okay. And I mean, this one was free because y'all sent it to me, so maybe you three dollars. So we're gonna start on this side. And y'all, you this leave-in conditioner, like the amount of moisture it gives your hair and the smell is amazing. Like so many of you guys have told me how much y'all really are enjoying this leave-in. It is bomb, I'm telling you. Now I'm gonna go in with my Denman because this is for definition. I've already detangled in the shower. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with this Garnier Fructis. Y'all, I don't know about this. Okay, I do like the texture though. The texture is very like creamy. So that gives me a little bit of hope. Stuff like this typically feels good in my hair. It does feel good. It does have a stronger scent. And the scent is pretty strong. But that does feel really, really good on my curls. Now we're gonna go in with the wet line extreme, which I think this may be pretty good. So it most definitely feels like it's not like I don't, let me see how it looks. So it does clump. We we see that it clumps, right? But I feel like it could just do more as far as like really giving me a hold. So I'm gonna go in with some more of it. But like, you know, whenever you use a wet line, you really do feel like the clumpage of it. So you guys can see how like, it's not really clumped a lot, but it does have some clumping going on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that does not look bad to say we paid a dollar for this, right? Like it doesn't look bad. All right, so moving on to the next section. And I'm going to apply the cream. And once again, I like to apply creams before gels to reduce the amount of hold that really, really hard crunch slash cast that gels typically give your hair. I do not like that. So I like to use a cream first and it helps to reduce some of that cast. Honestly, y'all, this feels like it would be really good for a twist out. Like even though it says low hold, it feels pretty moisturizing. Like if you have low density hair, I do recommend trying this out and seeing how you like it. So let's do something a little fun on this section. So let's compare the Wet Line Extreme to this Extreme Sport Gel. So I'm gonna apply the Extreme Sport first. a bit much for this little small section but I think I need it okay so that's what we got now let's apply the wet line to this back section does wet line expire y'all because if wet line expires I'm pretty sure this one is done for <laughs> okay but as soon as I apply it you can just feel how it like snatches up the curls like you guys see the difference right between this and this. And like, I haven't even really rubbed this in fully yet. This is why I'm, I have a love, hate, mainly hate relationship for wet line because it leaves such a crunchy, like leaves your hair so crunchy. But as you guys can see, like this one most definitely knocks it out of the park for hold. But we are doing the Dollar Tree wash day, okay? So we gonna continue with the Dollar Tree products.
Alright fam, so I'm going to go and finish the rest of my head off camera and come back and we're going to see how the wet results are looking. So y'all, I finished the whole head. As you guys can see, of course it's a whole lot of frizz over here and it's going to be very, very voluminous I'm sure. But honestly, the definition looks really, really bomb. Like, especially in the back, the definition looks really, really good. I am not upset about that at all whatsoever. And even over here, like, it looks really good over here also. And I put these clips to push it out of my face because I hate it being in my face. So, so I'll be back when it's dry. So fam, it is the next day and my hair is fully dry. And y'all... I feel like we are going to have, we're going to have some good results. Like, I am shook right now, y'all. I just put these clips in my hair to keep it out of my face because I hate my hair being like so much in my face. So this is the next day, less than 24 hours, I would say. Um, and the curls are looking pretty good. The front of my hair, of course, looks really, really awkward as always. Like, the front of my hair is just not as defined as the rest of my hair. It just kind of gets more so frizzy around here versus like really defined like I would like it to be. But the back and everything looks like the side and the back, which is what I really judge a gel off of, not my front. Um, it looks really, really good. As you guys can see, this definition is like firing on all cylinders, honestly. It looks really, really good, right? Like, y'all, look at them curls. Like, okay, Dollar Tree, come through Dollar Tree. <laughs> like, it is not failing the sis. It is not failing me, y'all. Like, the curls are really, really defined and shiny. And look, I'm here for it, okay? This looks really, really good. And I also didn't use any oil and I don't feel like um, my hair would be any kind of different if I had used the oil. Maybe a little bit less of a crunch. Like there is a tad bit of a hold and crunch in some areas. Um, but as far as also comparing that wet line extreme to the extreme sport, I used a wet line around this area somewhere and I honestly can't really feel where the difference like where I use it at. So when it dried, it kind of dried the same, but applying it was a bit more frizzy, right? Um, so I do need to get some oil because we are going to stretch this wash and go. Okay, let me go ahead and get some oil. So I put some oil on my hands and now we're gonna go in and stretch. So the way I'm gonna do the stretching, oh wait, let me show you guys the back. I didn't show you the back yet. So this is the back prior to stretching. So the way I'm gonna stretch is split my hair into four different sections and then just stretch each of those sections individually with my blow dryer. So for my dryer, y'all, I got a new dryer. And y'all know this is complimentary because that old black one was doing just fine for me. So this is a T3 and I'm using this attachment right here to really get it like this. So let's go ahead and do that. So I may just be here all day stretching this hair because it has taken much longer and much more power than I usually am used to. Maybe the crunch is just that much stronger, but I feel like by now it'd be like stretched down to here and it's still at the same spot to me. Like, <laughs> do I have to split it again? So I increased the heat. And that most definitely did make all the difference in the stretching. Like you guys can see the length difference is clear, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that exact same thing. I'm sure y'all don't wanna watch. This is boring. Y'all don't need to watch this part. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys the final result because I don't be here all day. So I'm gonna just save y'all the pain of watching me, okay? <laughs> so fam, I am finished with the stretching process. Do y'all see this doggone length? Who is she and where did this length come from? I need answers now. Like, y'all, look at the length, but still like the minor definition. Like the definition still looks amazing and it's still like pretty defined in a lot of areas, but there's like a whole lot of volume. And this is just gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I mean, 
mean Dollar Tree. Talk to me. Y'all, this is bomb. And I love, love, love just the volume. Like stretching your wash and go can do so much for you. Like from where we started to now, let's be honest y'all, this is a huge improvement. I'm gonna go ahead and put my rings back on cause you know, we finished manipulating the hair so the jewelry can come back on. I am really starting to like washing goes more, but one thing that I'm really not too much a fan of is like how hard the hair can be and how frizzy in like certain areas it can be. I'm not a fan of that at all. However, I am starting to find ways to work around that. Um, and my hair most definitely does feel soft. It does not feel like super crunchy. So stretching the hair most definitely helps to reduce that crunch. And by using an oil for sure also helps that. Um, now let's talk about Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, like the Dollar Tree y'all came through. The Dollar Tree had not disappointed it just makes me think sometimes, like, what are we really doing if we can get products for a dollar that works just as well as products 15, 16, 13 dollars? Like, are we really putting our money to the best use possible? Are we really? Because this is just some sorcery if you ask me, okay? Now, hurry up, run, track star, go to Dollar Tree, pick up this. Now this, I feel like, you know, it worked. Like, I really did like it. I actually pick up this too because it did have a nice consistency and it actually did shock me. I feel like I could get a really good twist out out of this and it would not be a low hold twist out. I feel like it would be a really, really good twist out. And then this, y'all already know how I feel about this, okay? So, bomb combination, I most definitely do recommend. And y'all, I'm sorry, I forgot to use the air control, but maybe I use it in another video to tell you guys how it works and everything and how I like it. Um, but this, it can get bigger, y'all. It can get bigger, okay? This is love. This is life. This is beautiful. So drop in the comments down below if you guys did enjoy today's video and the whole Dollar Tree concept and just like a little different touch to the channel let me know if you guys enjoyed that in the comments below if you did also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it to somebody who is balling on a budget because this video is for you okay and also join the fam by hitting that subscribe button down below and lastly don't forget to put them notifications on so you know when your girl posts okay so without further ado i'm gonna see you guys in my next video